Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing some noob army tycoon. So a lot of you guys ask me a lot of the time, hey Shosko, how do you unlock cosmetics and effects for your armies so I can make them look like yours? And today we're gonna go over exactly how to do that. So the easiest way to unlock several different cosmetics for your army is gonna be from purchasing this building on your base, this one right here behind the main building. This one is going to have all kinds of faces, all kinds of hats, you can change the materials on your tanks, and as well as vehicles and boats, you can also change the color of your gun. And in the basement, there is also this, like, kill effect challenge area. The way you get them is by completing the 30 troop challenges. The first one is to have 30 troops at 100 kills or more. The one I'm stuck on is 30 troops at 5,000 kills or more, and it just keeps progressing more and more. And these are some very cool effects to get on your army, but they are a little bit hard to get. A lot of the other things in this area that change the like weapons on your armies do unfortunately cost robux same with the explosive effects over here so mainly just come down here for this stuff here unless you are wanting to spend the robux now most of my skins and hats actually come from crates that you purchase through gems so what you must do is buy the boat down here in the dock and then come over to this island this island if you do guys not already know is how to make a lot of gems very easily over time you get plus 1500 gems every 600 seconds once you get all of the mines operable once you get everything going you get a lot of gems over time from this so do make sure you have your gems mine going Another thing you should make sure you should do to get a lot of gems is come to the bank and come to the bottom floor. If you go all the way to the bottom floor in the basement, you can actually fill two entire safes full of different gem storages that will make you tons and tons of gems when you're away. As you guys can see, lots and lots of different gem capacity, and there's also a lot more gem capacity in this vault as well, but it's only in the basement floor, so do make sure you upgrade your bank if you guys want to make a lot of extra gems. And you can, of course, just kill gem noobs as well while playing the game to get a lot of gems. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys to get gems is because if you come over to the shopping cart here and go to buy crates, you will find the normal hat crate as well well as the normal skin crate. One's 100 gems, but I recommend buying five at once because 500 gems is pretty cheap. So when you purchase a hat crate, you're just going to get five hats into your inventory and you can get up to 40 hats. However, the reason why the hat crates are a little bit special is because there's a chance for a hat to be both neon and also there's a chance for your hat to have an effect. For example, the current hat I'm using is a blue cone with a blue fire effect. But there's also cones that are just neon or other things like there's a neon scion animal hoodie i got here which is going to be a glowing version of a regular one and then i have a scion animal hoodie here that gives off red smoke so you can get a lot of really really cool hats to like really customize your army if you guys do that now you can also do the normal skin crate the normal skin crates a little bit different because there is a set amount of skins in the game there's not like effects you can get on them Every single character has all of these skins I'm showing on screen, and then there's also special limited skins, there's just not any out right now. But besides just the skins you can get from that crate, which is how you get like the blue, red, yellow, green, all that good stuff, if you get a lot of kills on a unit, you can also get very, very special ones. For example, with my Elite Robot Railgunner, since I have 100,000 kills with it, I can make him fully silver. With the fully silver on, you can make them look super duper cool. As you can see, they just look like a solid silver army with all of the cool various different particle effects I got going on. And yeah, let me know down below if there's anything I should have mentioned. And also comment down below if you guys have any more questions about this. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!